is to retrofit this uh, SF6 sensor to the existing tubing for the SF6 uh, monitoring unit for our test project. And uh, before you start, you gotta have all the tools that you need. And the tools is uh, you gotta have like an open end wrench with box 916. You gotta have a ratchet and a 916 vertical swivel open end because it's kind of restricted inside where you can fit the open wrench so you gotta use this and you gotta have two adjustable wrench and last one is the sniffer to test any leaks after you do all your fittings and everything so that's all you need and now we're gonna start so, Get your 916 and open up the existing tubing there on that cage so it's quite easy just fit it in here and wrap it off and that's it then you use your hand just to loosen it up it's coming out the one here and loosen it up too so it's a little bit restricted area here but then you use your hand to loosen up it takes probably seven turns and it will come out and this is the existing fittings so we're gonna retrofit the sensor with our fittings that we already redesigned and this is it so turn it around make sure don't remove this uh, black fittings here the tubing here that's uh, to hold the fittings from slipping throughout so first you gotta remove this one kind of hard you gotta turn it to push it up and come out uh, they just fit through here make sure this thing is loose and don't drop any fur line it perfectly you go all the way up tight make sure you hold it up tight before you turn the nut and turn all the way in hand tight hold it there then you bring your vertical swivel ratchet extension let's fit through here Turn this thing to adjust it again. We have the right angle. Here you go. You hold it with one hand and start turning it in and make sure you push the tube upright. Get it up to slip back. Remove it again. You just adjust the ratchet. Keep turning until it's tight enough where you cannot turn no more. And that that's a sign that it's all the way through. Now you can remove it. Get back to your 916 command right here and just open once or one turn so you can have some room to turn the other side to fit it in. That's it. So now I can play around with this one. All right. Just in this one, make sure it's aligned with the hole and the thread. Now it's aligned, and you slide this back and you slide back the cover here. The thread and the fur will not come up. Slip it through right there and hold it all the way in. Slip this one and turn it. So you can see it's coming in now and tight it and 
you slide this one through and turn some more. Reach from the other side to hold it and free this side to turn the Gotta have some patience with this because it takes a while to only half turn every turn because the restricted area here You tight it again until you feel it's kind of stopped. Almost there. You gotta go all the way down until you feel it's kind of really hard or it's kind of stopped you from turning the normal feel now it's like stopping so that's probably the fur and the nuts is really compressing sealing the tubing so there will be no leaks okay next one we're gonna adjust this for the sensor to make sure it's straight before you tighten this two fitting this was loose when we adjusted this tubing so i gotta get to your two adjustable rims bigger one kind of heavy for you to turn so you gotta put it here this one to hold this one and then the other one okay now you use the uh, correction the 916 open trying to tighten this to fittings here and you do the same thing if you don't tighten this up the way I can explain it will probably leak again but you better hold it from this end yeah and it's nice Sensor here, you gotta have it dry because when you have the crease on, probably it's gonna slip around because it's not even fit perfectly. 
on this area there's a space here so when you have a crease here probably compress and slip through back and forth and that's why it's gonna cause some leaking after then you're gonna put it on make sure it's aligned straight with the thread and gotta turn it Yeah, a little bit trick here you got to put your hand here while it's sliding through so this thing sit it well in and as you can see it sit it then turn it okay nice hand tight then get your two wrench Turn it again clockwise. I don't think there's specific torque for this one, but you gotta do the TPF torque range, yeah. scope by filling. So you gotta feel it when it's uh, kind of a little bit restricted you from turning it. Then you can feel it's probably the right sealing for the rapid seal. A little bit more. I think that's it. Okay, while this nut over here is still loose, so you can pleat the valve for any cats in there. Well, the remaining one inside here is enough to do that, so yeah, you can see that squeeze noise. So, and until the final touch on that, we tighten up that nut. Done with all the connection and tubing and the sensor. And then we have to open the valve and use the sensor to sniff it for any leaks. Let's open this main valve here. Want to know more? You see the cage here it's indicated that there's pressure inside. And this is a sniffer, and we're setting it really low to detect any small leaks. So we started from our sensor here. You gotta put your hands below it so any SF6 leaks will definitely flow to your hands and detect it there and any change on this beep sound you hear that's an indication that there is leaks so far there is nothing here so pretty much we've done a good job on this okay and come here you gotta put your hand there too Nothing there. So this one. It's all good for now. Last one is this one. put it up for a while I just hear a little bit of different sounds but
to it from the top. I don't think there's any leak there. That's it for today. Thank you.